We're creating webhooks in this series, and this is a third of the series. The very first one, we created a webhook which allows us to come down and add a record. And you can view that one separately if you'd like to. But uh, here is the information. And we went out to the API to pull down the structure and paste this very first one in. We created it an app uh, token, but we also introduced something called a user token for authentication uh, or credentials to be able to do this. And then we pretty much mapped the fields over. Uh, in the second uh, of these uh, videos, what we did was we did edit. Now, the, well, let me back up and say the first one was when you create a record here, it actually created a record over here. So we have one hook, webhook doing that. And then we wanted to be able to edit this record and then edit it over here. And so once again, if you go down into the webhooks that exist um, in here, you'll see there's a second one for editing records. Now what we did was we copied this. The only variation was we changed this to edit record using the API edit record. And we added this, which says which record we wanted to edit. But the field values were the same as the add record one. So that was pretty easy to do. In this next one, what we'd like to do is to delete records. So let's exit out of here. We're going to create a brand new, new one. So uh, starting from here, we're going to click on settings. We'll come down into webhooks. Now, there are things in these that are already wonderfully done for us. Uh, and if you want to see all the detail on setting them up from scratch, the add record one is the one you want to take a look at. Let's copy this. And this one is uh, going to be renamed delete um, contact. Delete contact. Now, in this one, uh, we're still going to the same table. That's why I wanted to make a copy. Uh, the condition changes when the record's deleted. And let's see, we're still doing an XML post at the action, only this one is delete record. Now, how do I know that? Well, uh, we need to go out to the API. If you do a Google search uh, for quick base API, you will find a whole bunch of API call references here. There, are, there they are right there. They're kind of collapsed right now, but you open it up and you come down. We did the add record. We came down further. We um, did the edit record a second ago. And now we're about to do the delete record one. And there's a whole bunch of information about how you can use this on buttons in your application if you wish to. There, way down here, there is a request. This is a sample uh, request. And this one's a very simple, simple one. Now, we already did the quick base action, and we did the API delete record. Um, and we set it up as an XML post to a particular destination table. So we've done that. Now, this is the payload component of it right here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to bring that back uh, over into our app here. And this is the the de copy delete one, right? And, uh, now I'm going to uh, put this down below here for just a sec and paste that in there because that's the essence of what I want. Uh, and it's saying, well, which record are we deleting? Well, it's actually the, uh, where, it, where is the, is this, which one? This is the, I'm looking for the record ID. Oh, here it is right here. Field 23 is the record ID. So, um, and you can see record ID here. So it's saying which one. Now, if you think about it from the perspective of the originating record, it is the record ID most likely. So I'm going to come down here and just say record ID. There. That's the value in the destination that I want it to be able to go over and delete. So um, let me see, ticket, authentication, U data, all that, all that kind of stuff. Do you see it up above here? U data, user token, app token. We can really get rid of all of this down below here. 
let's delete that. Since this is duplicated, we're getting rid of this. The ticken and the app token have already been spoken for above. Look at, this is really all the information that we, we've gotten here. So uh, let's save this and see what happens here when we go about and delete a record. First thing we have to do is find a record that's over here. So you see Tom Terror. We'll come back over here. We'll look for Terror. And there's Tom right there. And uh, so we can view it and then say, I want to delete this record. Delete. OK. Terror is gone. We come back over here and we see that Tom Terror is still here. So this is so it's saying, well, which record do you want to delete? And do you see this the source record ID here where the record ID is equal to 202? So let's just for the heck of it briefly look at this and see what we did wrong. Uh, let's go into the webhook, and I think it's because I did not turn this on. All right, let's try the other one. Um, when you make a copy of a webhook, its natural state is going to be deleted. So I know that grid edit that this one is gone. Right. So the only one left is um, Mary Crane with um, Mary Dockers. So let's go back over here. Find Mary Dockers. Mary. Uh, Mary Dockers. Here it is right here. View it. We're in the source table. And we're, whoops. <laughs> cancel, cancel. Uh, I meant to click more and delete. This is where I was headed. So we're in the source. We delete the record. Now hopefully this invoked the webhook, which took this away, which it did. So now we've got three webhooks working in this particular application. If I came in here and added a new contact, um, J, 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 with K, 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 and the title is, and the address, let's pull something up fictitiously. And, and I'm going to just hit save. We should have this record supported in the other side. And then we'll go and update this record and, and maybe make it more proper. And we'll see how that, that happens over here. So here is KKKK. We come over here. This invoked this first webhook. You can see it passed over the record ID into this, this. And you'll find more information about that under the add and edit ones videos. So let's go back into this. So we've demonstrated the, the add and JJJJJ. Let's find that record. Let's edit it. And let's uh, say it is 617-555-1212. Uh, 617-555-1212. One, one, and this is kaja at example.com. And let's put a real company. J Enterprises and um, Tom Kirk is the save. All right, we updated this record. We updated it. Uh, um, J, we'll find it here. J Enterprises. Let's go over to the webhook. J Enterprises. Look at all the information of, has been done. And then one last time, we will say, let's delete this. J Enterprises, so we view it and we delete it, which brings us over to the webhooks, and they're gone. So this, in actuality, is kind of mirroring the table that's over here. Now, in the next session, the uh, challenge is going to be what happens if you delete all these records, and uh, let's look under this, and I'll leave you with this little teaser. Uh, I want to delete all these records. All these 101 contacts are gone. Okay. And uh, that obviously, that's no surprise there isn't anything here. But what if we go into a spreadsheet and are copying all these and we import them in mass? Remember, we've been using API add record, API edit record, and API delete record, which works great for an individual record. But what happens when you have a whole bunch of them added 
modified or deleted. And uh, that will be, and I'm going to pose this conundrum. Uh, we have company name, title. This is going into street one. This is going into city. This is going into state. This is going into postal code. And this is going into country. And what other things do we have? Phone. Um, I'm not doing that one. Mobile. Email. Website. Uh, okay. Import. So 100 records will be brought into this app, but only one, I think, is going to be posted over to the webhook. Let's look at the contacts. We have 100 contacts. How many webhooks? Drum roll. Only one, the very first one, and that is the subject of the next uh, video. How can we make it happen for all of them?